Hey guys, back at it again. I'm working on the uh, 1954 uh, Frigidaire by General Motors. Um, trying to restore, I've got a couple cracks in the, the uh, door liner, uh, the plastic inseam of the door. Um, what happened, I picked it up one day and right here where your latch goes through, I had a crack go all the way through here and right up through there, and I was like, oh man. So what I've done, I've seen somebody else on YouTube, they took their solder iron, and they just kinda did some plastic grooves like stitches, and then um, took, uh, I actually took a couple round small pieces of metal and melted it down in there right there and right there to uh, give it some more strength other than the plastic. And then I took this plastic uh, black zip tie and then I melted it for another layer on top of that. This is the back side that you won't never see. And then I melted uh, some more plastic right here. I also had a couple cracks in the corner. I did the same thing on that. And I mean, it's to me, it's every bit as hard as the plastic itself, if not harder. Um, I think it's worked really good. Uh, let me flip it around on the other side. So you can see. But the other side has still got the crack on it, so... You can still see a bit of a crack right there. So what I may do, I don't know if I want to even go any further with it, but may kind of like melt me a little groove down through there just tiny small groove to kind of hide that and right there and then either use some kind of glazing putty or something to fill in the the gap sand it if i do all that though that for that there and those two small cracks there if i go and do that i wasn't planning on painting this inner door liner because it's really as far as the color and everything is great. I mean, there's really nothing else wrong with it. Um, so not certain if I want to do that. The, uh, the other thing I'm kind of working on, I was going to try to fix is on the evaporator coil where somebody has uh, really trying to defrost it. It's got a bunch of knife marks all the way down through here. It's got a, actually a pretty good one right there and then right inside there was a really good one and it was right right there it's a wonder they didn't hit one of the refrigerant lines um so i don't know i was going to try to use solder on it to kind of solder it in but it really didn't didn't take too well um, <clears throat> the only other thing i know to do is either maybe use some glazing putty and sand it down and if i do that though i'm gonna have to spray paint this evaporator and I really don't want to have to do that because it's aluminum and but we'll see well, that's about all for this uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye, -bye.